Using your GastroPlus Gastrolyzer. Hydrogen is generated in the intestinal lumen by bacterial action on carbohydrates in the large or small intestine. The resultant hydrogen is diffused into the bloodstream and then to the alveoli where it can be measured in the expiratory air. By measuring the hydrogen levels, it is simple and easy to detect intolerances and small bacterial overgrowth. Taking a breath test. To switch on the GastroPlus Gastrolyzer, press and hold the on-off button located at the top of the monitor for a few moments. The GastroPlus will take a few moments to zero. From the main menu, select the correct test you wish to make, depending on if you are using a face mask or a mouthpiece. A countdown timer will appear. At this stage, the patient should inhale as deeply as possible and hold their breath throughout the on-screen countdown. If a face mask is being used, the patient should breathe normally, but be encouraged to exhale as much as possible. As seen here, the display will show a rising PPM value. The peak reading will be shown on the display. The test is complete when the icons, shown here, are displayed. Please remove and discard the flat pack mouthpiece or face mask safely, as these are single-use only consumables. It is advised to remove the D-piece between tests to allow fresh air to circulate around the unit. Screen layout. From the main screen, press the COGS icon in the bottom left to bring up the options menu. From here you will have several options and features to choose from. Press the speaker to mute or unmute the GastroPlus Gastrolyzer. The timer in the top left corner gives you the option to change the countdown timer when taking a breath test. In the top right corner is the calendar icon. This is used to change the time and date settings of your GastroPlus Gastrolyzer. The question mark icon takes you to the information screen. Here you can see data such as the last time the instrument was calibrated, the serial number and the firmware version. To go straight back to the home screen, press the home button at any time. Zeroing and calibration. To calibrate and zero your GastroPlus Gastrolyzer, please follow these simple steps. You will need the following equipment, supplied for you from Bedfont or your local distributor. It is important you use Bedfont calibration gas and equipment only to prevent any damage to the instrument or any false readings. In this kit you will find
a 100 ppm hydrogen balanced in air gas canister. A control valve and flow meter. Calibration tubing. A D piece. And the manual for reference. Before calibration, you must zero the monitor in ambient air. To do this, please select the zeroing icon as shown here by clicking the options menu icon and then selecting the zero calibration icon in the centre. You will now see two options. The icon on the left will zero the monitor and the icon on the right will start the calibration process. Please select the zeroing icon to begin the zeroing process. The instrument will take a few moments to zero itself and will display a tick when zeroing has been completed. Press the tick to go back to the calibration screen. Connect the calibration tubing to the flow valve and flow meter. Screw the canister to the control valve and flow meter as shown here, ensuring not to cross the threads in doing so. Next, connect the D-piece to the tubing. On the GastroPlus Gastrolyzer, press the right icon to begin the calibration procedure and immediately insert the D-piece. On the flow valve, slowly release the gas, adjusting accordingly so that the ball inside the flow meter is at the correct level. The PPM value in the GastroPlus Gastrolyzer will rise and the monitor will then calibrate. To finalise this process, press the tick button when it appears. You can then remove the D-piece and turn off the flow valve in the calibration gas canister.